the Future Cemetery project here at Arnosfell Cemetery is really uh, combining digital technologies with original uh, creative story writing to bring stories to life in the cemetery. The Future Cemetery project is a collaboration between Calling the Shots, the University of Bath Centre for Death and Society and Arnest Vale Cemetery. And what we're trying to do really is to attract, try and attract a new audience to the cemetery, one that's perhaps engaging in, in the history, the heritage, and also kind of issues around death and dying. We take a cemetery like Arnest Vale Cemetery and use it as a platform to try and experiment with new kinds of technologies that can be used in a cemetery. Now the thing is that cemeteries are themselves a huge historical repository of human technology, innovation, and science, going all the way back to say something like the gravestone. It's been a very successful technology. The things that we're testing is the effectiveness of the technology, how this kind of consultation and creative writing process through to delivery at an event works and what the costs of that are, um, and how comfortable people are engaging with the subjects surrounding death. So what we're working with isn't so much necessarily um, computer or digitized technologies, we are, but a wide range of things such as live performance, such as projection onto sides of walls, things that can work with the cemetery space. It was not built to accommodate one particular religion. It was founded by businessmen to be a, a thriving cemetery business. We started with something that people would associate with a space like this. They would expect to go on a tour around the cemetery, but we've kind of taken that to a different space uh, where we're going to introduce uh, actors, we're going to introduce technology which is going to make them think a little bit more about their own mortality and hopefully get them to reflect on that. What's the point of having a stone? Don't you want to be remembered? By having a slab of rock with some tired cliche scrawled across it, rest in peace, blah blah. I've just been on the future, future Cemetery tour, fantastic experience, really really well uh, conceived, really well executed. Going into the crypt and seeing the guy there and like all the lights going out, um, you know, I automatically grabbed my friend's hand. Poppy. I don't know, I think I learnt a lot more about this place than I would have if there weren't any actors there. I like the light installations on, on to the, projecting actually onto the gravestones. I think that's a great idea, um, especially with the six-word epitaph um, idea in the first place when we first arrived and asked to do six-word epitaphs. And then to see that sort of joined up with a, a later light installation, kind of, it, it made me think about how gravestones in the future are going to come because it, they've been the same for so many hundreds of years. Get to see lots, a range of different people just writing their opinions of what they want to, to people to see when they die. It's, it's interesting. I am writing what Nina wanted me to write, which is I appreciate you being in a grave. The response we've had from people has been overwhelmingly positive and really excited about that. That maybe suggests that people are far more willing to engage with this subject matter and sensitivities around bereavement and remembrance, which um, is really exciting because that does show that cemeteries do have a future, they have a relevance to people. And I think it's really important because most people don't think about what's going to happen to them when they die or what's going to happen to their loved ones when they die until it happens. And then it's too late to say what is precious and what's important. I want a nice, simple epitaph. Wish you were here. <laughs> I think what's been really important to us uh, in this project is collaborating. Collaborating with the University of Bath and getting that kind of academic rigour, uh, getting questions about, about what it is we're doing and, and, and why, what the kind of methodology of it is. Look, what I'm trying to say is this is really hard. I'm just, I'm so stupid. The next steps for the Future Cemetery are very exciting because what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, the entirety of Arnest Vale Cemetery uh, into something called the Arnest Vale Cemetery Testing Ground. By working in the cemetery itself and by working with us and our creative partners, we'll be able to sort of prototype and develop and, and demonstrate to other groups, here's exactly what you might be able to do. It's been an interesting first day. Um, hope you've enjoyed the cemetery. Bye! 300,000 people here, this is, this is the end of their history. But because of that, it has all their stories, that 300,000 stories. Now, in a way, that makes it a metaphor for pretty much all of life. Um, and you can talk about anything here um, be because the, the issues are difficult around, around the end of life. Other issues become much easier, um, in, if that makes sense. So, in a way, I think that's, that's the space in which, in which University of Bath, CDAS, and, and Arnestfell Cemetery and Calling the Shots are at, where we just feel anything's possible now, really.